Chairperson, the fight against corruption continues. President Jacob Zuma bragged in this house last week. What he should have actually said is, the ANC will continue to be corrupt. There is no use fighting us because that is the plain truth. The corruption scandals that follow President Zuma are not unique to him. They are symptoms of a rampant, systemic and deep-rooted culture of corruption that has destroyed the ANC beyond repair. I stand here today, Honourable Chairperson, in support of the victims of the ANC's corruption. In particular, I stand in support of South Africa's last generation, young people who are born free but denied hope, their future stolen by greedy and corrupt ANC politicians. I speak of learners such as those at Lower Malepelepe Primary School in Mdigisoni village outside Zolo in the Eastern Cape who for five years had to kneel on the floor because there were no desks or chairs for them. These were learners, some as young as six years old, whose plight the Eastern Cape Education Department had known of but chosen to ignore. It had to take exposure in the media for their schools to be provided with the bare minimum while the Provincial Education Department failed to spend 530 million meant for infrastructure at schools. How many more Malepe Lepe primary schools are out there? Schools where learners whose rights are ignored because they are poor and black, and money meant for their development, stolen, wasted, and misappropriated. Then there are the learners at Chayetso and JM High School in Lechtenburg in the Northwest, who had to embark on a protest after pleas for scholar transport fell on deaf ears. These were learners who were forced to walk eight kilometers daily through crime-ridden areas, risking being robbed, raped, or worse. This all happened in a province where the Premier, Mr. Supra Mahumapelo, wants to spend six million on a statue in honor of President Jacob Zuma, while learners in this province beg to be provided with transport so they can go to school safely. It is disgraceful that in a province where many struggle, money will be spent on a vanity project for a president whose legacy will be nothing but corruption and rising unemployment. I challenge you, Mr. President, to say no to that statue. The next statue that the other members of the Premier League will order, no doubt, will be in honor of the other paragons of corruption and their bosses, the Guptas. Then there are the young and talented executives who appeared before the SABC inquiry, purged from their positions because they refused to be corrupt. The ANC government stood by and watched while Saudi Motswaneng and his enforcers looted the Honorable Van Dam, please take your seat. You are recognized. I want to take a question from that idiot. Honorable Van Dam, take your seat. You are recognized. I, I, guess, I guess you don't want to take a question from me. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson. Yes, you were begging for DA membership. Now here you're trying to show them that you're committed to the NC. Sit Honor down. Speak. Honorable Van Dam. Honorable Van Dam. Sit down. Honorable Van Dam. You hold your back. Put, put KFC in it. Order. Honorable Van Dam. You are on the podium. Order, members. Order. Order. Order! Honorable Premier, order! Honorable Van Damme, Honorable Van Damme, you are on the podium, you are addressing the house, you are not dialoguing. Okay, Please sorry. don't repeat no that. Problem, no problem, no speaker. problem, no problem. Order, speaker. Can I use the point of order, speaker? We're not now, we're not now. Honorable Van Damme, please take your seat. You are, you are recognized, I sir. I raise an order on the speaker in terms of uh, the joint rule 14P. What the is the point of order? The offensive language that Honorable Van Damme is just Offensive utilized. language? You here on but Sona, Honorable Van Damme, Van Damme. Look at there. shouting F you to members of the opposition. Honorable Van Damme. I see it as it is, Honorable Van Damme. Please sit down. Please, please, please take Honorable Van Damme, all the members. Honorable Van Damme, I am not. Order! I have never seen anybody behaving the way you do on the podium. Please desist and take your seat. Take your seat. Uh, as chairperson, I was saying, 
in terms of Rule 14B, no, no, no. she called me. another honorary member an idiot. It's, I think it's not parliamentary for, for him to say that. Thank you. Honorable Fandam, did you call another member an idiot? I withdraw. You but are him, withdrawing, please. Him. He, he here Honorable on Van Dam, on son, I'm speaking as you son. cannot point fingers at other members. On Please son continue day, with member. your speech. Take your on seat, son Honorable day, Member. This is my speech. This Take is my your speech. seat. She's a strat mate. Honorable. Order. Aye, members. Order. 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 Honorable members, this house will not degenerate. You will not reduce this house, all of you, to this chaos you are causing. Honorable members, all of you who are making gestures, who are vulgar in your language, you disrespect this house unfortunately, and the constituencies that put us here. Honorable Fandam, please continue with your speech. I'll add this to my speech. That member there on Sona Day was walking in this house shouting F you to members of the opposition. So he can't come here and try and tell me about the rules when he was vulgar. I'll continue. Now, Order, the ANC government stood by Order, and watched while Saudi Motsuning and his enforcers looted the SNPC. Honorable Van Damme, please take your seat. What is your point of order? I request that Honorable Van Damme must raise a substantive motion because I've never men mentioned such kind of a thing. Honorable members, the point you are raising is we did get to hear that order. How? Can you ninja? Honorable members, I know that earlier today that the Speaker of the National Assembly raised this matter of so vulgar language, of language which is unparliamentary. Please desist. We will get into the records and look at everybody who has used that word in this house and we will refer this matter for discipline. I want to urge you members that we must desist from doing this. Honorable Fandam, you are on the floor. The ANC government stood by while Saudi Motsuning and his enforcers looted the SABC and exacted a reign of terror on all of those who stood in the way, all with the full protection of Mr. Zuma, who he had on spiel dial. These are but a few of the stories of the lives of the victims of the ANC's corruption. There are millions more. As the DA, we, we say we will make very sure that those Honourable responsible order, for stealing your money. Honorable Fandam, there's a point of order. On the Honorable point of order, I'm rising, Chairperson, on rules, joint rule 12. Yes, sir. Which states that the rules which I use, the discipline rules which I used in the houses, different houses here, are also applicable in this house. So the member cannot come here and make an allegation that the president had a full knowledge of what was happening in the, in the, in the SABC. I think that, too, that one must be brought through the substantive motion. Thank you, Chair. Honorable Fandam. We had evidence in the SABC inquiry. Honorable, in Honorable Fandam, please take your seat. Honorable Khadebe. We will get into that which you are raising. We will look at whether or not this allegation is baseless. Honorable Fandam, I do not know whether this house has received a report from you, which means that before that house, this house, the National Assembly received the motion, a report from you, it would be better for you to hold your horses. Honorable Chief, of the opposition. May I address you, House Chairperson? Yes, House I'm Chairperson. not a House Chairperson, thank you. Oh. Chairperson of the NCOP, my apologies. I think that the Honourable Member who raised the original point of order has misconstrued it. There are two volumes of rules. There's, rule, part, there's part one and there's part two. Part two deals with rules of debate. 
The rules of discipline that the member is referring to refers to the sanctions of members should they be found guilty of having transgressed the rules. What he's trying to do is supplant the rules of debate of the National Assembly into this chamber, and that's not permitted. It relates to how long a member can be suspended and other matters, and that's why he's not the chief whip. Honourable Khadjabo, please take your seat. Honourable members, allow, allow me to chair the House. The rules which the Honourable Khadebe referred to are fine. What you are saying is also in order. Let us not try and play for time and excuse behaviour which is untenable in the House. The rules of both Houses are applicable under different circumstances. For now, the rules of the joint sittings will apply. It is under those other circumstances that the different rules will apply, and we hope that we will not have to do so. Honorable Fandam, please continue. As a DA, we say we will make very sure that those responsible for stealing your money will be brought to book. We will fight ANC corruption wherever it is. In the provinces, our MPLs will continue to hold provincial governments accountable, and municipalities, our councillors, will do the same. In Parliament, the executive will feel the heat, and in particular, President Zuma. Our litigation for the reinstatement of 783 corruption charges against him has been sped up. We have also filed papers in the Constitutional Court to seek a declaratory order that he violated his constitutional obligations in not giving effect to the remedial action set out in the Public Protector's State Capture Report. Honourable Speaker, it was quite clear that the ANC and corruption are like this, inseparable. It does not matter who is leader, the culture of stealing money is deeply entrenched in this organisation. The only hope South Africa has is to vote out the ANC and its culture of corruption. Where the DA governs in Tswane, in Nelson Mandela Bay and Johannesburg, we will bring corruption-free government. And after we are elected to national government in 2019, we will stop corruption, halve the number of ministries, cap spending on, on consultants, make tender and procurement processes transparent, and cut in government perks like travel, vehicles, catering, and VIP protection, which will be very hard for you. Our public servants will know that their job is to serve all South Africans and not the other way around. A dear corruption will not tolerate corruption and will not tolerate anyone who commits corruption. The DA will fight the scourge on behalf of all South Africans and especially the youth who have had to watch as the ANC has squandered and stolen their futures. Was that 2019? Thank you, ma'am. The Honourable Khaila.